Hey guys, this is Eclipse Gaming KSP, and today I am doing a review of this new joystick I got. It is the Thrustmaster T Flight HOTUS X. HOTUS for hands on throttle and stick. As you can see, it has a throttle lever here, as well as the stick here. And, uh, I've, so far I've been pretty happy with it. Let's get that cord back in place. Um,. Okay, there. Anyway, I've been really happy with this so far. Um, it arrived yesterday, and I did some testing. And, well, here are some of the features it has. First of all, let's cover the throttle first. Obviously, it goes kind of halfway, then locks, then halfway. So it goes boomp, dunk, boomp, dunk, boomp, dunk, boomp, dunk. Yeah, so it's, it kind of stops halfway. That's kind of nice if you want half throttle stuff. Um... It also has a rocker. Not sure if you can see that, but let's see. That is a little that can be used for rudder, or can be assigned to a different thing if you want to. Now on this, there uh, on the uh, throttle here, there are some buttons. There's on the back there. There's two buttons, and on the side here, there's one, two, three, four buttons. As well as down here, where there is two other buttons, and then there's this which changes between four channels when it's red and five or five axis while it's green four axis five axis I generally keep it in four axis just so I can use the rocker over here for rudder although if you put it in five axis you could probably use it for camera zoom or something in a game like Kerbal Space Program now for this side first of all I want to show you on the bottom here right here this L shape that is a uh, little wrench thing for permanently attaching the two together, you see they fit together there. I personally like to keep them apart, so I can kind of keep my hands on them. Over here on the stick, we've got a hat button. That is one, two, three, four, four ways. There's a center button and a right button. Then there's this button and a trigger. So I use, you know, the trigger to fire weapons, next weapon flares, something like that. And the hat button I can use to move around the camera. So, it, I've been quite happy with this. It's a great little joystick. It costs $48 off of Newegg, I believe, and $45 off of Amazon. I haven't checked the other stores, but basically it's like under $50, and it is the best you can get for the price. Now, let's see here. If you, the motion of it, there's, it's a bit creaky going to the back. I'm not sure why. I, I, I doubt you'll be able to hear that, but it's a bit creaky. You can see it twists to give yaw. And it goes roll, pitch. Now when you're doing this, it clicks in some places. Not sure why, and it kind of jumps while going past the middle. So, I mean, it, it's not perfect. But for the price, it is definitely the best you can do. It is... $45, I got it from Amazon, so that was $45, you can see here's the little wrench. So, I've been happy with it so far, so, um, I'm going to show you what I did with Kerbal Space Program. You can see, I used this for, uh, for flares, it's for next weapon, this to change the camera angle, and then the trigger on the back to fire the weapons, throttle, rudder. And then uh, the other little buttons I did for other things, but let's see how this works. 